Hi, a few quick words about the temperature analysis functionality in Scopito. So I've got a bunch of um, thermal images here. Now the thing to uh, bear in mind is they must be radiometric thermal images. Okay, they need to have that data in the in the EXIF file. So uh, what we've got here, we've got a chimney on top of a building. Uh, we've got some domestic rooftops, which could be good to analyse. Here's a commercial rooftop. It looks like some sort of uh, cooler patch there, which could be a leak. This is another domestic rooftop looking down along the walls. We can see lots of heat escaping up here. This is the chimney wall. So if we click on that annotation, which we've already drawn, we've got this button here, measure temperature. Click that, and that's what it does, measures the temperature. We've got the high point there, which is 11 degrees. We've got the low point there, which is 8 degrees. The delta, which is the difference between hot and, and cold, which is 2.6, and the average of within that annotation. So that's quite useful to, um, to, to see what sort of temperature we're actually losing or discussing there. Let's have a look at another one. Uh, this is a solar panel on a rooftop and measure temperature. Ooh, we've got 86 degrees on the hot, 31 degrees on the low, so the difference is 55 degrees. That is absolutely baking. It's a very serious problem with that solar panel, so that needs to get sorted out. Here's that commercial roof again in a different palette, and we've got a temperature difference of about 5 degrees. So chances are that's just a, a damp area or an old puddle but if it was a dry dry conditions then that would indicate some sort of uh, roof leak where it's containing water and here we've got a flare image from a handheld of an inverter and it's already got the temperature details baked in so let's see what our annotation says high of 33.2 and a low of 19.18 high of 33.2 and a low of 19.2 which we rounded up so that's good Fleur has passed the test and I expect they're very happy with that so now we've got those few annotations in there we can um, generate a report and if we go down to there we've got our readings in our report now as well so that carries on through to the report Okay, I hope that's interesting. Thanks very much.